Okay, we've got a new promoter with EPKHosting.com. Uh, it's High Grade Productions here in Toronto. Just helping them get their template set up. Uh, I've selected, what is it, EPK 7.0. If you'll go to Appearance, the left sidebar of the back end after you've logged in, you'll see all the available templates, and uh, we're going with free EPK 7.0. Theme options is where I can control what's uh, going to appear on the home page. Uh, I've assigned their logo here, so you just check mark that, upload. And this template makes use of a full width banner. So that's the high grade production banner there. And right below is the thumbnail slider. So thumbnail slider is just another feature of the theme. You can just turn it off, save all changes, go back here, refresh, and it's gone. Okay, so I'm just going to throw that back in and show you how to populate it. So um, check mark and select a category. I've created a category called events, so we'll save those changes. If we go over to posts, and filter this by category, we'll see uh, all the events that I've pre-populated. I'm going to add a few more by scraping them off of their uh, group page on Facebook, which is over here. You'll notice that they've got an events archive. So I've done the first three. I'm going to go for base culture and uh, click on see more, grab all the text. Again, I prefer going from the bottom up so that I don't grab uh, any HTML that's part of the design, such so as tables and logos and that kind of stuff. So see, that's too much. That's a table. Just there. Copy that. Go over my posts. Add new. And this one's called base culture. So base culture. Click in here. Paste that content. So there, that's that. Okay. Uh, we'll sign that to events. And we need an image. I'm going to scroll back up to the top. Click in front of all the text right click this image in the event page on Facebook and uh, this is base culture All right, make sure that you name your images something meaningful not just uh, ID numbers uh, it's important for search engines so that they crawl and identify what the photo is uh, so now I'm going to click on upload insert I'm going to browse for that file which was base culture okay so that's that uh, split these words up, cap them, base culture, uh, align to the right, use as featured image, right? Use as featured image is the most important part of making it appear on the home page thumbnail slider. Uh, you can verify that it's assigned by scrolling down and looking at the featured image widget, bottom right. If you don't see it, then just expand your screen options and make sure that you've enabled it. Right, so you can customize this to some extent, like I'll turn off tags and add, uh, I don't know, an excerpt, which appeared right there. Right? So, that's all said and done. Uh, I'm going to publish this. I'm going to go back to the home page, refresh, and there's your thumbnail slider. Now these thumbnails aren't sized appropriately. Um, now they are too small to begin with. If I had a, a larger image, then uh, I might be able to grab it. Let's see if they've got anything under photos for flyers. So, okay, they got War Dance. I like that one. So I'm going to download this one. I think you go to Options, Download. Okay, so that's there. I'm just going to bring this over into my folder. Where did that go? Let's rename this to War Dance Flyer. Okay. And close, close, go back to posts. I'm going to find War Dance, which was the third one. Okay, so that's one flyer. Um, the featured image, though, I'm going to remove that because I think this one fits better. So let's search for War Dance flyer. There it is. So upload that. Okay. Again, watch your spelling or dance. Use this featured image. And that can actually fill the content area. So I'm going to insert this with none uh, so that the text just gets pushed below it. So insert into post. All right. So now it's all below. I want to space that a bit more. Okay. So we update that. Go back to the home page. There's War Dance on the right. Now it filled. Now that looks good. I'm going to click on that and bang, it brings me to the official post for that event, which has the flyer and all the details below. 
is a great way of archiving all your stuff. Uh, in fact, I believe the Chameleon Project does a good job of this as well. Let's just check them out real quick. Okay, this is another uh, member of EPK Housing. So, see, they've got all of their show flyers over here as well. So, it's just uh, an archive of all the shows that they've played. And they got the full width banner, and uh, they kept the nav up top. They're showing their blog on the homepage. They got a video on the sidebar here. Um, there are a lot of easy ways of doing that. In fact, I produced a video for this very show, War Dance. Um, let's go to YouTube slash EPK Hosting. Great place. Wink, wink. Uh, go to the video menu and you'll see playlists where there are all the event videos and all the tutorials. So event videos being the ongoing music documentary. And you'll see Demolition Man uh, produced for War Dance. It's the most recent video. Ew. Okay. You have to watch it later. And I could just drop this in with, oh, I don't know, pasting the URL right there, like that. Okay, let's update this, let's see what we got. So I'm gonna refresh the home page, click through War Dance. There's their flyer, there's the video. All right, it's just a YouTube embed, and WordPress makes it really easy. You just grab the video URL and drop it in, okay? Now if it's slow to load, blame YouTube. Ew. Okay. Um, in fact, I might even recommend putting that in a sidebar widget. And in that case, it changes a little bit. But you'll go to Appearance Widgets. Okay. And we've got all these widgets for the footer. That's what's meant by bottom left, middle, right. Sidebar, however, is currently empty, as we can see here. Nothing in the sidebar. So I'm going to grab uh, text. And I'm going to have to get the YouTube embed code. So click on share, and I want to embed. So there's the code, it's too large. We want something that's no more than 300 wide. So that's that. And we'll grab this code, and we'll go back to widgets, paste it in there, maybe give it a title, demolition man. Or you know what, let's just say featured video. And save, we'll go back here, refresh. Okay, so there's the Demolition Man video. Now this is going up here everywhere when it's placed into a sidebar like that. So, like I could go back to the home page and then go to another event from that thumbnail slider. Oh, my internet's chugging today. I think the family just got home. I'm gonna pause for a second. Okay, so refresh the home page. And uh, there's War Dance, but let's go to um, One Love with Jackie Merida. And there's the featured video again, right? So the sidebar is quote unquote universal. It's going to be everywhere on the site. So this is where you might want to throw in um, upcoming events, merchandise that you want to sell, um, a Facebook like box or a group badge, something like that. Uh, plenty of ideas. Just cruise through the tutorials page or um, shoot me an email using support at epkhosting.com. Um, let's quickly recap the homepage again. So this is the thumbnail slider. You just need to create a post and uh, assign it to a category, which will be the thumbnail slider category, right? So under theme options, thumbnail slider, select your category, which is events, and it will only show categories that have posts assigned to them, okay? so. That's events as a category thrown in there. Um, you might also want to do alumni, meaning DJs that have played with this promotion company before. Um, so I'm going to cut the camera now. We'll call this a wrap for the thumbnail slider, and uh, we'll do another demo with alumni.